Reporting from a war zone has never been easy. That's why the Bronx Documentary Center has become the front lines for young journalists. We go through a lot of time and effort to make sure that the scenes here are stressful. The training even includes blood, a lot of it. Because people bleed when they get injured, and blood is slippery, blood is very drastic, blood is very emotionally, um, you know, charging. Hurry, hurry, hurry! We got enough, just enough training to realize that we didn't know anything. Seasoned war reporter Sebastian Younger started risk training, reporters instructed in saving colleagues, after the death of his close friend. Tim Hetherington was killed in Libya, along with fellow photojournalist Chris Hondros, by a mortar attack in 2011. None of the journalists around him had the right training to know how to stop the bleeding. Um, so had one of those journalists um, had the right training, Tim Hetherington might have lived. And the risks for journalists have increased in recent years, especially now, with more freelancers out there on their own. They face uh, risks of uh, being injured or killed covering civil unrest, which we've seen increasingly during the Arab Spring. And now, with the conflict in Syria, we've seen a great many journalists getting killed in combat. The industry is getting a lot tougher than it has been. But the only other option is to just not let things go unreported, and I think that's not, that's not feasible. While Younger himself has now given up the front lines, he remains dedicated to the cause. This is an entirely good thing, and it might save someone else's life. And I think if Tim could see this, he would be really quite amazed and, and, and delighted. A legacy, Younger hopes, will live on with the next generation of reporters. John Gerberg, Associated Press, New York.